Okay, so how do we get attachments? If we take Hollywood into the equation, Hollywood would convince everyone that the only way this is possible is through using a Ouija board. Well, unfortunately, it's not the only way. If you have a lifestyle that uh, lends itself to more risk taking, right? Uh, maybe you are a heavy drinker or, you know, you indulge in uh, illegal drugs, right? You are essentially opening the door for that lower vibration energy to find its way to you and attach. And now they're getting their fix um, through your activities, right? Think about it as if you were um, out on a deep sea fishing excursion. And you're not fishing for sharks, but you're throwing bait in the water and you're hoping to catch some big, uh, impressive fish, right? And so you're casting out and you've got your bait and you're reeling it in and um, what you catch is a shark. Well, I wasn't fishing for sharks. Yeah, but they're still there. They're out there, they're in the water. So we take that and we think about ourselves as the bait. We are putting ourselves out in this big sea that we don't know very much about, right? And if you don't have protection, um, if you don't have, you know, prayers, you don't envision yourself, you know, in that white light, you don't ask for protection from your guides and your angels, um, you're just kind of going in like a cowboy and doing your own thing, you are also opening the door for these um, sharks to show up, right? You are chumming the water going into the situation um, and without any protection, you have left the boat. So you now are the bait, so to speak. Does this make sense? I hope. Um, so it could be, you know, a, a simple fish that shows up or it could be a shark and you just don't know because you don't know what you're fishing for and you have left the boat. So attachments are kind of like that, right? You are letting your guard down, the door's a little bit open, maybe you're you're drinking too heavily or you've taken too much or you're, you know, you really you should tone down your addiction. You've left the door open and now the attachment, that energy can come in and it can kind of lock on to you and now it can help you um, continue these activities that are not so good for you because they're getting a fix. Um, sometimes it becomes a little bit obvious that um, somebody might have an attachment. If you're not sensitive, um, then perhaps you notice all of a sudden there's a big change in, in or a big shift in their uh, demeanor, like how they're behaving, like, oh, they, they didn't used to drink this much, but all of a sudden um, they're drinking a lot, right? It could be that they have somehow picked up that attachment, right? Maybe they picked it up at a bar, this entity likes to hang out at, they walked in, they just were the unlucky person who the entity went home with. Now, again, I want to say that um, going to the bar, having some drinks with your friends and whatnot does not mean you're going to walk away with an attachment. I'm just saying it's the same as if you go out fishing and you're throwing bait into the water, you may not intend to fish for sharks, but a shark may still show up. That's kind of the point. You are going out into these environments. You are not, you know, making sure that you've got your own energetic protection. You are um, chumming the water. It is possible for a shark to show up. So I hope that I made that pretty clear. Um, I'm not sure that I did. Again, it's a much bigger conversation um, that we can really dive into. But that's sort of the idea behind uh, attachments and how people get them.